All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Rechakwadash, the born of the elder apostles, great millstone, who rule well. The salutation and much love to Yaakim out there pushing out his word in truth and sincerity. And uh, this is Brother Ash, great millstone, Tampa, back with another walk and talk. Words will is edifying and exhorting to the hopeful elect. And, uh, you know, just going to go in to, uh, you know, the these last days, man, because we live in them. All right, all the prophecies that the, we read about, well, we're actually living them now. You know, and Esau, he's about to turn up, as you see what's going on right now with the banks. All right, war, his war tensions continue to grow. So we're getting very close to the return of the Lord. And before that, this devil's going to bring that. RFID microchip make that mandatory as you see what's going on with the money system the Esau is collapsing it the financial system all right and this um it's, it's all it's all it's not by coincidence you know CBDC's coming out so we know what's coming next all right the mark of the beast so the hour of temptation is close all right, now, we can't tell you the exact day, but we see it the, it's in motion. Okay, it's not uh, far fetch. It's not maybe. No, they're doing it. Esau's doing it. His thing. All right, he's 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 bringing his his sword down, and he's gonna soon and start enforcing it by the sword. His policies. That's how he's able to to, to bring which you know craft to prosper through his policies because he has the sword. Okay, he can he can uh back up, you know, back up the talk with his sword. If you don't want to comply, then he'll just bring down his blessing upon you. So, you know, this he knows he has but a short time, so he's gonna come down with great wrath. <clears throat> but life as we know it is about to change, and the persecution's coming. All right, our lives are not gonna be what we do now, man. We're not even going to be able to partake in society. People are going to look at us a certain type of way because we don't want to comply. Just like they did in the test run two, three years ago. All that was a, you know, a trial run of what they're about to bring down. And, you know, who knows what Esau is going to do with fake, false flags or terrorist attacks or whatever you want to call it. He's going to bring some kind of uh, issue and bring the solution. <laughs> okay. But yeah, we're, we're approaching, all right, the time of Jacob's trouble. Because the birth pangs have already begun. But we're going to be knee deep, neck deep in Jacob's trouble very soon. Sooner than you think. All right, because things are starting to move quicker and quicker. All right. It's just, gonna, it's just, you know, again, we don't know when the Lord's return is. But we see the signs that he gave us happening. And they're increasing in the, and things are getting tougher and tougher out here but we still ain't see nothing but we have to keep the faith trust in Yahweh Bashim Yahshai look at the men of old look at the ones that have come before us and how the door uh, the Lord Slakia, has delivered them in the face of death you know so we shouldn't be worried about that we should be trusting in Yahweh Bashim Yahshai knowing that if we truly believe what we're saying and we have the faith in Yahweh Bashim Yahshai all right, then you should be, be your confidence should be on him. All right, on our deliverer, our savior. We can't do nothing to prepare for what's coming except just do the will of the Father. There's there's nothing physical you can do as far as doomsday prepping or none of that. You know, going to the range, shoot, working on your thousand yard shot. No, man, you got to come into the Lord, obey him, and worship Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, and he's going to fight for thee. We're supposed to be striving for the truth unto death, and the Lord shall fight for thee. And we're truly going to need that in these last days, because things, again, our life, as you know, it is about to change. All right? There ain't going to be no more going to the grocery store, getting some chicken. All right? No, no, getting, no more DoorDash, no more drive throughs no more ice cold, you know, refreshments from the gas station. No more, well, that's a good thing, but no more working, but... You're going to show you, man, that it's gonna be it's gonna get tough, man. 
when you can't go to the grocery store no more, you got kids crying, <laughs> your children crying, you're gonna be tempted. And when you're, you're you start you start getting hungry, and then demons start coming at you and attacking you, you gotta be able to hold tough, man. Hold through that. And it's through Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai that we will be able to. All right, because we're gonna be over. We're gonna overcome the flesh as Yahweh Shai did, and and, and and because of because of Yahweh Shai overcame death and shed his blood for us, we are able to do so. All right, and the Lord is about to do miracles. Great miracles is gonna be uh, done real soon. Just as the left hand side is increasing. All right, you're going hard. Well, guess what? The right hand side is about to. Uh, uh, increase as well it is increasing but the lord is about to turn things up and have his men do miracles as you how i said you're going to do the same works i've done and greater works and all the works of the lord can even be contained in the all the books on the earth so prepare for that if you don't believe you won't receive so we have to be you know it's easier said than done but in the face of death we have to be willing to continue to obey the Lord, like in the book of Second Maccabees, chapter seven. All right, with those brothers, seven brothers and their mother, they said they would rather die than to disobey the laws of Yahweh Hashem Shai. You know, they're like, take the death manfully. You know, so if he, so what if Esau tortures you? The Lord in that same chapter, the Lord shows you that He can make you numb to all that pain. And they were mocking Antiochus. You know. You know, they were, and that's the spirit we got to be in Lord's will. And that's why, we, you know, we're not, shouldn't be worried about that. Because the Lord said, the Lord, he going to put that, the word in your mouth in that hour. You're going to know exactly what to do. If you're the true servant of Yahweh Bashimi outside, and you truly, sincerely serving him, the Lord going to put the spirit on you, all right, in these last days to do what you got to do to make it to the end. All right, whether you are put to death for this word and for the names of Yahweh Shem Yashai, or if you endure all the way to the end and the chariots, you're still around when the chariots appear. But even if you die, you're going to be uh, called up into the air. You'll be the first risen. All right. But the ones that are still still here, as the first Thessalonians say, all right, shall be called up into the air to meet the Lord and be with him forever. So, yeah, we got to go through all this hell. Jacob's trouble is about to be horrible. A time like no other. Nothing on this earth has ever been seen of the way it's, things about to go down. That's why you can't prepare for it. It's never been, it's, it's never happened before and never will happen again. Man, you know, most especially because of the missiles, but the, leading up to the missiles, it's going to be all hell. And it's going to be death around every corner. But you're going to have to, you have, you have to trust in the Lord. And if you haven't been building up that, that um that trust in the lord having that building your relationship up as they say with the lord then you're going to be in a in a world of hurt when shit really hits the fan because it's easy now yeah you is like screaming at people on the side on the side of the streets but when they really put when esau really put that pressure on you to see if you're gonna fold up then then that's when you truly believe or truly show your uh faith when you uh when you're willing to die for the Lord, or you're willing to lose everything, whatever the Lord sends your way, you're willing to go through it and not worship the beast, his image, and receive his mark. Because again, it's gonna get tough, man. Life as you know is about to change. It ain't gonna be chilling in the AC anymore. Alright? Cruising around in the whip. No. All that's coming to an end. Very soon they're gonna announce. CBDC is mandatory. Central bank digital currencies. Your 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 paper money is no good. They're gonna have chipping stations. Okay, and it's and it's not just gonna. Be, well, the scripture is specifically pointing out for money, but we know Esau's technology. What's all about? We're not ignorant of his devices, his plots, his ploys. He's gonna use this to identify you in many ways. All right, digital ID, digital passport, digital. Uh, vaccine cards all this is to monitor you 24 7 all right but without that you won't even be able to access anything because everything takes money in, in, in this society
You want to go to the store? Guess what? You need gas. To get gas, you need money. And you need a car. You got you got a car now? How are you going to pay that? You got you, you want to keep working? Well, the only way we can pay you is if you have a chip. So you all, Esau's about to put everybody's back against the wall. And only those that are faithful in your house by Shemiel Shai will hold fast, you know, and, and, and say to hell with Esau. And there will be some, you know, even some Edomites that don't want to play ball with Esau or, or uh, play ball in, in with the government. And they're going to rebel, sedition, all right? But they still going to die or they, they'll end up folding up and taking the chip. That's irrelevant, though. The hell with the heathens. They might as well take the chip because right, they're going into slavery regardless. And they're going to get put to death. But we, our expectation is in the deliverance, the salvation that has been promised unto us. And we earn to see that day. And Lord's will, it comes soon. All right. So Lord's will, this was edifying and exhorting to the hopeful elect out there. We give all praise and glory and honor to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Rachakwadash. Shalom. Moath Lava Bull.